Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem eight in chapter twenty four. Chapter twenty four is about capacitance, dial electrics, electric energy storage. So there you can see we have two capacitors. The capacitance and the potential difference for each one is given. So we write it as zero C one V one C two V two, right? Now it tell us. In this case, we need to find the capacitance. Capacitor are disconnected from each battery, and then the positive one of the C1 connect connected with the positive side for C2. Negative side for C1 connected with the negative side for C2. And then what will be potential difference across each one? So in this case, we can consider um, the charge. Is conserved, right? The initial charge equals to the final charge. As we connected C1 with C2, you can see this is positive charge, positive charge. So they will flow to each other. Agree? Negative charge, negative charge can flow with each other. So the charge is conserved. Initial charge can be the charge Q1 initial plus charge Q2 initial, right? And the charge Q1 initial is C1 times V1. Charge Q2 initial is C2 times V2. This is the initial situations. And finally, these two capacitors connected, uh, connected. So make the potential difference for C1 and V1, and and C2 equals as V. This uh, potential difference equals right at the final. And so the final charge for Q1 is C1 times V. Final charge for Q2 as the C2 times V. As we talk about, charge is conserved. So initial charge equal to final charge, and we input these uh, uh, equations inside. And then we get the equation look like this one. We can solve this equation, get the function for potential, for the pi, for, for, for a, a potential difference V. Input given quantities, we get answer there. Right, so now you can see, um, we find the potential difference across each one, right? So because we know the, uh, this uh, potential difference for capacitor C one equals capacitor C two, just equal to V. So this one is solved. Next one, we need to find charge on each other. So the charge Q one after this uh, situation is after connected. So it is uh, C one capacitors times V. Get the answer there. The charge C two or the the capacitor C two the charge on it Q two after is C two times V. So input given quantity we get answer there. The next one is what is the voltage and charge for each capacitor if the planes of opposite side are connected. That means for the charge Q one for the charge C one oh sorry for the capacitor C one this is the positive side this become negative side right. This become negative side. This becomes a positive side. Still, we can see. Oh, this one is in progress, so we don't need it. So now we can see, the charge is conserved, right? So it's the initial charge equal to final charge. Agree? Now you can see the initial charge because this is a positive one. This is negative one. This is negative one. This is positive one. So this just opposite. Opposite uh, directions. If we want to find the total charge for the initial, we need to take the absolute value for the Q1 initial minus Q2 initial, right? Yes. So this is how we solve it. So the initial situation, the total charge is use Q1 initial minus Q2 initial take absolute value, and the final situation is still Q1 after plus Q2 after, right? And then we can input the uh, charge Q1 initial, Q2 initial, Q1 after, Q2 after as the function there. And then we get this function, so we can solve this uh, uh, equation to get the function for V. Input given quantities, you can get the answer V as 120 volts. And then we can find the charge for each side. For Q1 after, it's use capacitor C1 times V, and the answer is there. For the capacitor C2, we can get the charge Q2 after as C2 times V. The answer is there. Thank you.